Hello everyone, wishing you all fantastic times again. In our today's episode of our questionnaire series, we will be jumping onto a new topic called Adobe Forms. So all the questions that we are going to deal with Adobe Forms are starts from the basics. So these questions are very vital for you to have a clear understanding of Adobe Forms. So the questions are, what is the decoder for Adobe Forms developments? Basics. Advantages of Adobe Forms over traditional method? Basics again. What are the usage of context during Adobe Forms generation? I'll show you a practical example. This context part is very critical and vital. What are the use of interface during Adobe Forms development? A very vital element of Adobe Forms. What are the interface types used in Adobe Forms development? This is again another critical topic. Now let's jump on to the answers. First one, what is the T code for Adobe Forms development? SFP. Now let's directly check this T code in our practical environment. So I will type SFP in the command bar. And yes, this is the T code for generating Adobe Forms. So you can see it is form builder and this is the form builder entry point. Okay, now let's move on to the second question. Advantages of Adobe Forms over traditional method. It is easy to use for the developers with user-friendly development tools. So from a developer perspective, the development tools are quite user-friendly and it is very easy to develop, which is not the case in case of smart forms and scripts. In scripts, it's even harder. In smart forms, it's slightly better than scripts, but it is not as user-friendly as you see in Adobe Forms. And the forms can be designed in interactive manner, which is a very critical advantage we have in Adobe Forms. Another massive, massive advantage we have with the Adobe Forms is, since they follow the PDF format, it means that the forms retain their features irrespective of the environments they are used in. This is another massive, massive advantage we have with Adobe Forms. Now, to show you the user-friendliness of the development tools, let me enter into one of the Adobe Forms that we are developing. Now, I'll go to the layout. This is where the form builder, where we designed the Adobe Form comes into picture. Okay. So, as soon as you get the design builder, it's very easy. You just go to the palettes and click on the object library. You will get the object library in the side like this. Now you have all the options. Now there are some standard options and there are some custom options. There are some barcode options and there are different options that you can use. Now in case of standard, if I go, if I double click on button, yeah, you can have the button here. You can just write the name, uh, any name here, test. And if you want to drag and drop the button, all you have to do is drag it anywhere we want to place it place it there similarly you can have a, a email button and then and then you can have a like a decimal field you can have a date field and all you have to do is just drag and drop there are different options here you can check any of those options and you can use it in a very user friendly way for example this image all i can do is like i can place the image at anywhere the paste pasting of logo is very simple here where in case of smart forms, you have to create logo in many places, in another place and you have to bring it here. Just create an image and copy any of the image that you have. Uh, I mean, like whatever you have in your clipboard, you can just paste it here. The image gets copied. Okay. So if you see here, this is an image that is actually copied. Maybe the format of my image that I copied is not correct. And that's the reason you are not able to see the image clearly. In case of a nice format, the image displays in the proper way. So these are all the practical advantages of designing an Adobe form using uh, the form builder that we have here. So this is a very, very critical advantage we have from a developer perspective. Now let's move on to the next question. What are the usage of context during Adobe Forms? Now this is a very important question. The context in Adobe Forms helps in proper fragmentation of parameters that are to be used in Adobe Forms. Now what do we mean by proper fragmentation? I will show you in a while. The maintenance of context parameters are again easy. It works on a simple drag and drop. Now this is the context tab that we see in the Adobe Form and here you see context here. So if you see now, it does not have any fields or parameters as part of this context. Whereas in case of here, we have global fields and we have uh, the import parameters. So these are all basically the parameters that we define for an Adobe form using interface. So when you create an Adobe form, you will be giving an interface name and this interface will hold these import parameters and the global fields here. Okay. Now, why do you need a context if you already have an interface? The context is to specify what are all the fields from the uh, interface that you are going to make available in 
the form builder like the interface can have 100 fields but not all fields are necessary for us using uh, for our uh, adobe form development so if i'm using only a restricted number of fields from the interface i can only move those fields from the interface to the context so that you are explicitly specifying your adobe form that these are the fields that are under context are the fields that i'm going to use for my form development their usage is very simple just click here drag and drop here and they automatically come and just click here drag and drop here and they just come to the right side so after it comes to the right under the context menu you these fields are available for you to use in your design part so this is what i was saying like telling maintenance of context is pretty easier and they helps in proper fragmentation of parameters that are to be used in adobe forms let's move on what are the use of interface during adobe forms just now we have discussed we'll get into the details of it so interfaces gives us an encapsulated space for code logics i'll show you in a while clear definition of interface parameters yes and reusability now let's move on to the practical part now if you see here while developing this adobe form giving an interface is a mandatory parameter without interface you cannot generate an adobe form so what does this interface does now i'll double click and i'll move on to the interface here let me not save any i'll move on to the interface here so in the interface you can declare what are all the fields that you need as part of your import parameters here what are all the fields that you need part of your export parameters here and the exceptions so these are all some standard exceptions that the interface gives us but in another words like interface parameters for import parameters export parameters if you need some global fields that needs to be declared you can declare it here and this global fields gets easily transferred to the adobe form that uses this interface and whatever logic you populate for these global fields under code initialization where you populate the logic you can have your own logics here and these logics whichever populates the global fields will have the same value for example if a global field is populated with value 1 the same value 1 is carried over to your adobe form so this proper pa passage i mean the proper passing of your form parameters or interface parameters global field parameters from interface to adobe forms happens smooth so whatever you do here in the interface it's taken over or it's transferred over adobe forms in a smooth way and moreover since we have all the code logic everything in a separate interface object which means that your adobe forms is always lightweight right so the all the massive calculations the massive logic part are always occupied here so you are keeping your code logic separately encapsulated so this encapsulation gives a massive advantage for adobe forms to perform on a lighter note and it the performance is always better compared to our other traditional methods and uh, here in global data you define the global parameters you can define your types whatever are going to be used as part of this particular uh, code logics field symbols you can declare here code initialization you can also have your sub routines here so these are all some massive advantage of having your interfaces and again the reusability yes a one an interface that's used in one adobe form can be used in multiple other adobe forms as well so that's another massive advantage we have in place now what are the interface types used in adobe forms okay before i get on to, uh, before i show you what are the advantages now if you go to the interface par properties tabs you see there are some options called interface type you see these three options abap dictionary based interface xml schema based interface smart forms compatible interfaces so while developing your adobe form you can choose any of them but what's the purpose of each in case of an abap dictionary based or smart form compatible interface they both are same they both interfaces gives you code initialization global data declaration interface parameters context whatever we have seen here now in the interface whatever you see here code initialization global data global data types field symbols import parameters these are all common for both smart smart form compatible and dictionary based the only difference is having different standard parameters in the form interface now if you go to this form interface if you see in the import this parameter is standard and similarly in the export this is standard and this is similar in exceptions these are all standard available by default so this is different in case of a smart form compatible interface and a data dictionary based interfaces now let's move on to the third interface xml based interface schema this is used for the creation of forms in web den pro app so whenever you are creating a form for a web den pro environment we make use of xml based interface schema because web den pro component are more compatible with xml based schema you cannot edit in form build, builder you complete the interface and then load it now for example 
if you see here whenever we went to, to our adobe form we had a layout in the layout we had a form builder so we edited the form design part right so there in case of an xml based uh, interface you don't have this form builder you complete all your changes you complete the interface and then load it so that's another difference in xml based interface schema and the third point is you don't create context so in case of an adobe form you have the opportunity to create the context so that you can properly fragment the parameters in xml you don't have this option so these are the, some key differences between the different interface types so i hope you have a very good decent knowledge about adobe forms I will see you all soon with more interesting videos on different ABAP and HANA components, which will be useful in increasing your competency in ABAP environment. Until then, peace and blessings to everyone.